So I'm gonna do the covering of the basis of the show and you'll cover that part. Yeah. Alright. Take two. What's up everybody? I'm Chef247. And I'm Vic Stay Winning. And this is Anime for Two. Dude. Yes, this is a show for people who are interested in different types of anime or couples. You know what I'm saying? This is the type of show that we're going to look at a couple of episodes of some different anime we haven't tried. I am an anime loyalist. I've only watched pretty much Dragon Ball and Naruto. And she's pretty much a baby into the anime world. So we're going to explore this together. Go through some kind of details. Get you kind of in-depth of what the show is about. See if it's for you. And it might just be an anime and chill night. Yeah, so in addition to us having anime and chill, like we said, that is Chef. I'm Big Stay Winning. And whenever it's show, he's cooking. And I'm eating. Can I get some pepper? Oh, yeah. So in addition to us having anime reviews, we also may have uh, mukbangs, may have like a how to cook something at home. Oh, yeah. And so today we had, what we had today? We had char grill oysters. Char grill oysters. oysters. So, and y'all gonna love it. So look. We were supposed to eat this while we watched this, but we didn't do that. But we gonna show you this montage right quick. Can we show them the montage? Yeah, I mean, I had got some some footage or whatever. All right, well, yeah, show them the montage. All right, so go ahead, on. Roll that beautiful oyster footage. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. Go ahead. Yeah. Babe, what are you shucking these oysters good. with? I'm using a prime knife. A pear knife? Pear. Oh, prime. Oh, pear and prime. They do the same. already saw how good that food look and how great chef presented it sundays at two you guys can expect an anime review but you never know we're gonna throw in a little hit this a little that yeah we're gonna do a little bit more than anime we might do some videos even some cartoons or whatever we're gonna make it variety but mostly we're gonna go some anime you know for the most part you know yeah. we're anime people in this house we're gonna yeah we're mostly anime people but i'm talking about for the food sometimes oh, we might food. want to know a how to oh yeah hey, look if you want to know a how to it is simple look at the bottom of this screen or somewhere popping up in one of these open spaces i don't know why i'm gonna put it at hey, good. yeah you know what i'm saying there's gonna be this email address you know what i'm saying or simply subscribe to this channel or follow us at infamous media get on the dm message us hey we respond back and let us know what you want to see us cook, what you want to see us try, what you want to see Chef in the Kitchen doing, and whatever kind of tutorial we can bring to y'all. We're going to make it fun. That, so look out for our anime video Sunday at 2 p.m. Like, comment, subscribe. In the comment box, let us know an anime that you think we should review or something that you think we should cook or eat while we review the anime. And if you are Instagram watchers, because some of y'all will be watching on Instagram watching this video, this will, we'll have this in parts and we'll be uploading that on Tuesdays on Infamous Media. All right then, so let's get into the episode. Yeah. Today's episode is My Hero Academia. Just kind of give you a brief summary of the show. It's a show pretty much, imagine if everybody had some kind of superpower or quirk as they call it. You know what I'm saying? And there's a world where different people have different things. Pause. Shall we say spoiler alert? Mm. You can, but we gonna try to make it a spoiler free. Spoilers. Okay. Yes, yes. We might have some accidental spoilers, so please be careful when you're watching this. But um, pretty much the show is everybody gets some quirks. Um, ultimately they have this these schools, and pretty much you being a superhero is a business, in lack of better terms. You know what I'm saying? We're going, you, you will watch it if you watch it. You know what I'm saying? We got more detail to it, but we ain't going to try to spoil it. But anyway, we're going to give you the breakdown. So we're going to break down the breakdown of the grading system right quick. Yeah, we're going to break down the grading system. 
So each category is out of five, okay? Five. And then at the end, we add our five, and we add our stuff together. So if I had a five in the category, he had a five in the category, that category now has a six. All right? So now our overall rubric, like we would say in school, our overall rubric is uh, 50 to 40 anime and chill. Um, uh, 39 to 30 is a Vegeta. Damn you, Kakarot! Oh, uh, but 29 to 30 is, I don't have enough chakra. <sighs> 29, a 29 to 20. Oh, 29 to 20. Correction. 29 to 20. <laughs> 19 to 10. It's getting stepped on by a titan. Ugh, that has to hurt. And the 9 to 0 is a bug catcher Pokemon battle. There you go, there you go, guy. Catch it. Catch it. Ah! All yeah. right. And so the categories that we graded was uh, the show premise. The characters, the anime world building, the fun factor, and then our final thoughts and overall grade. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with the premise. So, ladies first, of course, my lady. Let's go ahead and explain okay. how you felt about the So premise. before we even get into grading and things, let's get into the perspectives first. He's been watching anime. He's a you know a loyal loyal loyalist, like he says. I'm a novice, so you know I grade on a different scale. I grade on a whole different scale. So don't you know take mine with a grain of salt. I haven't been watching this. This is how I feel. Thank you, AJ and Free for 106 and Paul, but we really fool around. This <laughs> is so stupid. Okay. So the under so for me the show premise I got the underdog wants to become a superhero but doesn't have a court quote unquote. Um, I felt like the show premise was easy to follow. It didn't really um, have anything that I couldn't understand. Um, so that's me for the show premise. Like I just the overall was him trying to become a hero. He didn't have a court, and so now he's going to be developing into a superhero. So, you know, what's your score on that? Out of zero out of five. I gave it a five out of five because it had a clear point, it had a clear vision. I didn't feel like I didn't um I got within a we only watched two episodes. Yeah, we only watched it. So it was two episodes I got what the whole idea of the show is, so I gave it a five out of five because it met all my criteria. Alright, heard that. Well shoot, honestly, like she said, I am an anime loyalist. I have watched a good bit of anime. I'm still learning. Some of the ones that a lot of people, y'all guys like, but I guess I have to get out of my shell. So I'm a judge a little bit more stern. But honestly, the show premise for me was honestly was a fairly odd mashup of a lot of pop culture things I've seen in it uh, for the first two episodes. You know, well, at least on the surface. But as you start to watch the episode, at least the first and the second, when you see that it's much more than just the world of superheroes and like pop culture references and all that kind of stuff, you kind of get a glimpse and a feel for what exactly this story is supposed to be about. And I feel like the author kind of gave you exactly what he wanted. You know, he wanted his characters to be exactly like this. He wanted them to feel like this. And he wanted the world to feel like this. Like he wanted to, like every child's dream. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody wants to be a superhero. So honestly, I thought it was good. It, it actually, to be kind of sum it up, it showed its strengths, its strengths, its strengths shined as it was shown, but it also sh showed the weaknesses as well. But then the first few episodes, I felt like, you know, a couple of little nitpicks, but it wasn't enough to take me away from the show 4.5. Okay, cool. So you got a 4.5, I got a 5, so right there, that's a 9.5 for that whole category. 9.5, okay, we're going to keep this going, we'll keep this going. So next, we're gonna be talking about, uh, I don't know why I'm doing that. Oh, <laughs> characters. We're gonna go into the characters. Let's go. All right, so for the characters, so for me, okay, so for the characters, I gave the characters a 4.5. 4.5? Yeah, I gave the characters a 4.5, and the reason why I gave the characters a 4.5 is, um, I can't, Oh, because for uh, character development, obviously I don't watch two episodes, so I don't get to see the whole overall uh, unwrapping of the thing. So I couldn't judge it as hard as I like, but I felt like I needed to take off something because it wasn't fully developed. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. But I felt like um, the main character he has good person he has good personality traits. You want to root for him. 
you see his inner strife and you want to be like, okay, he got this thing. Um, All Might, the hero, I felt like he was a good role model. Um, well, at first, yeah, so I felt like he was a good role model, but at first I thought he was a, um, an asshole, but hold on. <laughs> so before I thought he was an asshole, um, I thought it was great, like, the body reveal after he, um, become after he's like all my and he comes back to his regular human form and it showed that he's just like a fur a fright a fragile weak person spoilers, spoilers. <laughs> that's all right i told y'all be careful but when he got back to his regular form i like that it showed that the realness and of that uh he, a hero looks one way but inside they're just regular people um oh yeah and i said that gave the characters a 4.5 because i felt like they had great asshole factor like the classmate was an asshole, <laughs> the mama was an asshole, and all oh, Mike the hero was an asshole at the beginning. Then he realized, shit, he got something I don't have. Mm -hmm. I need to go ahead on, you know. Now I realize he can be a superhero because he has that, that, that go for it. That's what really takes it takes to make a real hero. So they got a four point five because I really thought it was a good, um, a good character view. So nice. Honestly, I had to go a little deeper, but obviously, like I guess I'm gonna be a little harsh. First of all, all might, all might, all might. Have no fear, students. Because I am here. All might makes the show, folks. Honestly, when you see all might on the screen, you're just like the characters. You light up. All might is, is like if Superman had a cool uncle. You know what I'm saying? Just like, imagine you had an uncle that, you know, he drank a lot and just got a lot of crazy shit. He just tell you, that's All Might. All, minus the drinking. You know what I'm saying? All Might is like that crazy uncle. He got a story for you. You're going to have a smile on his face. He's going to keep you going. You're like, what's that in your blood? But then when you see All Might's true struggle, you see All Might as the wise OG. You know, like, I've been there. I've done some stuff. You know, watch yourself. You know what I'm saying? He really gives a good like the guy who obviously voices him i think was actually chris um saving him i'm not making sure i maybe pronounce the name wrong but he's also voiced dragon ball characters but um very good character i love all my all my honestly is the savior of this show as far as the first two episodes of me watching so midoriya aka deku which is the main character of the show i like the character and you want to root for him like you say but he has a, he sometimes his emotions become too overwhelmed. Sometimes you get tired, of it, but then the first two episodes, you know, you're gonna have a couple of moments like, all right, my dog, like, come on, get back in the game, get back in the game. But you want to root for him, and I feel like that's what the author kind of wanted. Wanted him to have that weakness flaw, that kind of thing that makes him rather annoying. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course, like she said, there's a lot of assholes in this show. Um, I didn't think the mom was an asshole. I just think she was an asshole. Your child come to you, ask you, can you be? Can do you believe I could be a hero? And she said, No, I'm sorry. I don't think you have what it takes, or whatever she said. Do you think I can be a hero too? Give up hope. Look at me. Dreams are for suckers. Ain't no future for you. That's an asshole. Like, if my baby asked me, you would like, think that he can't. If I don't believe it and he don't believe it, then it can't happen. Like, you got to instill the power. So, the mama was an asshole to me because she should instill that no matter what nobody else thought, she should see see what her child sees. I, I get that. I, I, all right. Well, in your perspective, like I said, we got different perspectives. I didn't think the mom was an asshole. But Baku, oh man, his, his bully was, was actually once his friend. But now he's like, he's also a friend, but also a bully. It's kind of weird. You got to watch it. Like I said, trying to spoil too much. Oh, Baku. Asshole. Almost. He's a character that's such an asshole that you literally hate this character. I really wanted something. He gets into the situation in the second episode. And I really wanted it to turn out a different way. Like, that's just how much emotion he gave. But once again, I feel like that's what the creator wanted to happen he wanted you to get engaged in these characters but i honestly have to say outside of i mean really all the characters and when i seen the random people the people with the mini quirks they make it fun you get they had a guy with like a long finger his quirk is only his finger gets this long you know what i'm saying so the few superheroes that they showed and the different quirks i did like that 
Um, I like the villains. The villains, the few villains we saw were funny. Like the li they had one that's yeah. like liquid bottles of cold drink. Um, and they variety. They're not. They're definitely unique. But I did that. So for that, at first I originally was going to give that a three because of Deku and um Baku because they both kind of like to me I really could have cared less about the main character and this asshole bully. But like I said, I'm an All Might fan. But the rest of the guys, they make me want to push this, so I'm gonna give it a four instead of a three. Okay, so just before we get off the of character, I feel like um the main character, what's the main character? Um, Deku, uh, Midori. Midori. I feel like he, um, I feel like he embodies what people really feel. So that's probably why you're annoyed. But that's true feelings. Like you feel like you're just not gonna get it. And then him playing back that what his mama said and what everybody said to him that is real life. Like that's how you feel. When you really like trying to be, like when you try to come, come across your real mounts, you hear the naysayers, you hear all that stuff. So I feel like that was a really and good true. Don't get me wrong. I I think he has all of those great qualities as well. But the thing that kind of gets that that brings him down is the over emotion. Like there's he gets know. emotional to a certain point, and like don't get me wrong. This we gonna get to about the feeling. But say your emotions is here. His emotions will be there, and then like three scenes later, his emotions are there now. And it's like you feel him, but sometimes it's just like I feel like he could have just. His mom together. told him he couldn't even do what he wanted to do. How you think he felt? True, true. All right. <laughs> Anime world building. Okay. Anime world building to me means does the episode give me enough to build my interest? Oh, <laughs> uh, I would say yeah. It made me want to uh, be able to watch it again. It gave good life life lessons. It gave like um risk your life. That's the true test of a hero. That's what I got. And um. The part, like, it showed me a lot of, for me to, like, I don't know what anime world building made me to Elliot, but to me it felt like, like, what the anime gives off, like, yeah. what's the, the message to me? The atmosphere, to me? the feeling, the way the, the buildings look, the way the characters look. Okay. Yeah, but you pretty much got it, you know? Yeah, so I like the, it's kind of bright, it's fresh, it's current, so yeah. I, I like the, I, I like the whole, the whole setup of the uh, anime. Honestly, the, oh five, I'm sorry. Oh, you gave it a five. Ah, now this honestly, I have to agree with you on. Um, I looked at the world where the characters actually lived. It felt like a comic. Book. It felt like a comic book came to life. Like if you had a comic book, open it up, and you could just throw it in. It came to life. Like the characters are larger than life. All oh, might reminds you so much of every superhero you've seen. And then the fact is, he's like American. That like, is funny in like the Tokyo Americanish kind of mesh world. So I do like the color, I do like the characters, I like the feel of the what what the whole quirk is. It explains it pretty much quickly. What a quirk is, who has them, who don't have them. Um, like I say, honestly, and the only thing that really kind of makes me kind of feel like you got all these quirks and all these heroes, you don't see too many regular people, but the show does explain that, but it doesn't take away from the show, so it gets a vibe from me too. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So the next um uh, one is yeah, so okay. Let's go back. Hold oh, on. So uh category one show premise got a nine point five. Category two We gave it an eight point five. Uh, eight point five yeah. characters. Changed my mind at the last minute. Three category three, the yeah. anime world building, we got a ten. Yeah, now we go on the fun factor. Now we go on the fun factor. And for fun factor for me, I gave it a five, of course. I said it had bright colors, it was fresh, it was current. Um, the guy was an overcomer. Um, they did a good job like building your your interest and wanting him to wanting to root for him, which is always important. And um it shows that the strength comes from within. So like I said, I give it a five um a five out of five, and I do think it's worth a re a rewatch or a uh, continue. Uh now, fun factor, fun factor. The show definitely has rewatch value. Well, straight out the gate, you and we only watch two episodes, but it gives you enough that you want to watch more. And the weaknesses doesn't really take away from the show. 
It doesn't. It's, it feels like the, the creator put them there on purpose to make it feel normal, feel like natural. You know what I'm saying? So I give it that. Um, I do like learning about the new characters, learning about the different quirks. Um, of course, I love the mood of the show because the mood could go from real humorous to real serious to real emotional. You know what I'm saying? Really, really, really quick. The, the show makes you feel just about any emotion you can think about because you get mad watching the main character get bullied. Like you want to jump through the screen and just punch the guy that's bullying. You know what I'm saying? So it does do a good job. I'm a, Honestly, I'm still going to give that a four. The only reason I'm going to give it a four is because, once again, I feel like the creator put those things there intentionally, but at the same time, sometimes it takes the distraction off the beauty of the actual anime. And so what that was, you had a five, you said? I, I had, had a five, and he had a four, nine. so we have a nine in that okay. category. No. And so this is final thoughts and overall grade. Um, yeah, final thoughts. My final thoughts was, it did it did a good job pulling you in in two episodes. Um, that's important for me because I don't like the I don't really keep up with stuff. So if it was something that it draw me in and be like, oh okay, I can put this on and watch it, that works for me. Um, I'll give it an overall five grade because I'll come back to watch it again and it was easy to follow along. Now I'm not good with the character name, so maybe after a couple episodes I remember the character name. But other than that. Now, that's funny. My, um, overall, my thoughts was My Hero is a very watchable show. Um, very watchable. I, I definitely think it's watchable. The side characters have so much going that it literally saves the weakness of the, of the main character and even his antagonist. You know what I'm saying? They really saved the show. The show is rich. The storyline is rich. The characters are rich. The development is, you're seeing it right before your eyes. Um, of course, All Might is, 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 gives you both dramatic and humor to character yourself. Because certain scenes, you, you just like cheese ball, cheesy as cheesy. Then just in the middle of a second, he turns into like a street OG, giving you some sage type of wisdom. Um, the quirks are always entertaining. I do like the different quirks. Somebody quirk is like charging the telephone battery. Somebody quirk is like they could change the remote by blinking their eyes. It's like so much weird stuff. It is just the silliest thing, but it's technically will be considered a superpower, which is realistic and normal. Um, it definitely makes me want to watch more about it and find out more about the show. Overall, I gave it a 4.5. Okay, so, so final score. Our final score went up one because you gave it an upper score, right? Yeah, so now we are at 46.5. So yeah, 46.5. Yeah, so you know what happens when it's a 46.5? That means it's between 50 and 40, so it's a... Anime and chill. chill. Anime and chill. So, we did this because he obviously watched anime all the time, and I watch anime by association, so now we're trying to anime that we can watch together. And so, this, uh, My Hero, Hero Academia, is an anime and chill. So you can watch yeah. this with your boo babe. And, and definitely, if you want to try some char grilled oysters and you interested in about us doing a tutorial, just send us some likes. Hey, man, look, we gonna this is a new page. This is a whole new channel. So we're going to do this simple. Man, look, if we get 10 likes, you know what I'm saying, and five thumbs up, we'll give y'all that tutorial. Yeah, we'll do the oysters. Yeah, we're going to start off soft with y'all. You know, we yeah. like to woo out with people. Like, come in. Bring like, them in. Yeah, let's bring them in. Bring them in. Oh, I like that. All mm -hmm. right. So yeah, so this is our first review of like and subscribe on YouTube. I'm sorry. Comment below. Comment below. Yes, follow us on Instagram at Anime Four Dudes. And definitely Get subscribe up. for this. Yes, and shout out the infamous me. But so. yeah, so thank you guys. Have a good one. See you on the next episode. Right. I'm Chef Twenty Four Seven, and this is my lovely wife, Big Steve Wedding, and this was Anime Four Dudes. Peace.